Alright, hey what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. So I just stumbled upon this new game on Steam that is Blood Hunt. You guys might probably know about it. It's relevantly new in the market. There are a lot of performance issues in this game. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings and optimizations to fix all of this. Also, I want to let you guys know that 96% of you guys are not yet subscribed to the channel. So please do me a favor, consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. It really helps me out a lot. Also, do leave your specs in in the comment below i'll heart them and give you the best settings out myself so with all this said let's roll the intro all right so beginning up with the really first step and a really important step that you guys should not miss is creating a restore point and to do that simply search for create a restore point all right so once you search for system properties or create a restore point you scroll over here until you find your local disk c or any local disk would say system click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled click on ok and then click on create name it blood hunt and then simply click on create now don't skip this step because this is uh, creating a image point on your device on your desktop if anything goes wrong you can always restore everything back to this image where nothing has happened so i highly recommend you guys to do this once you're done with this simply click on close and then get out of this all right so the really first step begins over here first things first go to the link in the description below and download this simple blood hunt season 1 fps pack there is nothing else that you have to do simply just open the fps pack up go inside the folder and you'll find in four files first one is programs and in here you'll have quick cpu simply install quick cpu once you're done with the installation, open up Quick CPU. Now I have provided Quick CPU in the files because it will help you guys to optimize your current uh, performance of your CPU. It will help you unpark the cores of your processor. Now once you are in here, simply select the power plan for you. It can be high performance for me. It's Bitsum highest performance. Now if you want to know how Bitsum highest performance came into the scene, you have to watch my previous videos. Now, once you have set it to high performance, click on set as active. I'm not going to do this. Uh, also, make sure that you have all of these three options and this option set to 100%. Then click on apply and you'll see a pop up. Then go to this memory section over here and then click on clean. Now this will drop the usage of your memory as you guys can see. This will free your memory. So I highly recommend you guys to do this thing every time you open up the game. Now just close quick CPU and then go back to the folder and then go to ram optimization now over here you'll find a lot of uh, registry files but what you're looking for is the one the ram you have installed in your pc or the installed ram in your pc things can be different for you so for that simply search for system information and over here scroll down and then find for installed physical memory for me it's 16 gb so i'm going to be using the 16 gb ram i have provided a lot of presets for you guys and if uh, anything goes wrong for you guys you can always read store it back to the default settings so i've got you guys covered last is the registries and in here you'll find four of these registries power throttling for executive full screen fix mouse delay and thread priority you make sure you guys run all of these because all of these will optimize your pc to run blood hunt completely fine without any stutter lag or input delay so to run all of these files or to use these files simply right click on them and then click on merge then a pop-up will open it will ask you guys to merge it simply click on yes every time now once you're done with the registries simply open up the launch options txt and then copy all of this over here then open up your steam all right once you are in the steam you have to look up for your game right click on it and then go to properties and in here make sure you're on general and then disable the and then make sure that enable steam overlay in game is turned off and also paste the launch option over here now once you're done with that simply close it and then open up the game and follow the best in game settings all right so once you are in game press your escape key and then go to settings then over here go to graphics and in basic make sure you always play this game on full screen mode and your resolution should be your native monitor resolution then i highly recommend you guys to disable vsync and then put your frame rate limit to unlimited frame rate smoothing enabled you guys can try disabling it and checking it out and if it's disabled try enabling and checking it out I have seen that it's a 50-50% chance that this might help you or not. So check out which works best for you. Also for brightness, I believe 0.5 is very low. So 
I recommend setting it to 0.80 and not higher than this because this will make your game look much better. Then AMD FSR, I highly recommend you guys to keep it off but if you have a very low end PC, you guys can go with quality. Anything lower than this will make your game look absolutely blocky. Once you're done with that, simply press F and that applies your settings. Then go over to the advanced section over here and then for quality preset, I highly recommend you guys to go for low. Then set your view distance to ultra, then scroll all the way down and for anti-aliasing, set it to FXAA. Simply press F and then your settings will be applied. Alright, so these are the best settings for performance for Blood Hunt. So if this video helps you out guys, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. It really took me a while taking this video out for you guys, getting the best settings for you. So I hope it deserves a sub and we'll see you guys in the next video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.